Welcome back to Fabulous Mode Detailing. In this video, we're going to take a look at Abs Polish's Air Cannon. Let's do it. So you guys, I've had this for a little while and I'm telling you, I absolutely love it. This was a missing tool that I needed for detailing. I've always used a leaf blower and there's nothing wrong with using a leaf blower. I did it for years. But the only issue with the leaf blower is, especially if you're using it outdoors, if you're down and you're, you're blow drying your car and you hit the, the concrete or anything and it spits up dust or whatever's on the ground and it goes back into the leaf blower, there's no filter and it pushes it around your car. This air cannon has a filter right here and it is cleanable. So that is awesome and it pushes warm air out, which is even better um, in my opinion when drying. I love the hose. The collapsible hose has this nice grip on it right here and this is a 30 foot once it expands and when you turn it on you're gonna see i'll show you guys it just kind of just like a snake man it just kind of goes everywhere and expands to 30 foot it comes with two different tips i got my phone in my hand because i don't want to forget to say, say say things it comes with two tips you got this tip right here which is my favorite this is the one i use all the time and then this little skinny tip right here i think this would be good for like grills and stuff like that but i seem to get around the car perfectly fine with this one right here so this is my, the one that I'll probably leave on it in this video. We might throw that one on it just to see what it does. Um, but I, I, I tend to use this one. But I think this, this just feels really good in your hand. It's great for cleaning around badges and all the little cracks and crevices and grills and headlights and everything. Wheels works awesome, awesome to dry wheels, get in the barrels and stuff like that. This works absolutely fantastic. Now let me give you a little bit of specs on this. It's 3.2 horsepower, 84 decibels, how, how, how loud it is. I'm sure that's measured at its maximum velocity right here. Um, 106.7 cubic foot a minute of air power. Includes a 15 foot rubberized power cord, which is hidden kind of back here. Premium rubber swivel casters. They look like, I'm gonna show you, they look like what I consider roller blades, wheels. Right here, very, very nice, very well made. Not ch some cheapy, and this one has a lock on it, and this corner back here has a lock on it. So, when you don't want it rolling around, like right now, I don't want it rolling around. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to fall off of my toolbox right here while we're making this uh, intro. The 30-foot hose, it moves over 4,700 feet per minute of clean, warm, dry, filtered air. That is awesome. It does come with a one-year warranty against manufactured defects. It says maximum velocity Adams dual motor air cannon can deliver warm, clean air just over 50 miles an hour. Now I'm gonna show you really quick. It does have, here's where you turn this, the volume of air up that you want. Here's your minimum all the way down and then you have your maximum and then you have a power button. It's very, very simple to use. Now Adams does carry a wall mount, which is my goal. I'm gonna put a wall mount over here so that I never have to move it from the wall. All I gotta do is turn the power on, grab the hose, go around the car, do what I need to do, hang it back up. I'm gonna buy that in the future. I just didn't get a chance to buy it. I do wanna let you guys know Adams Polishes did send this to me when they sent me my graphene coating that you guys have surely already seen a video on. So I wanna thank Adams Polishes so much for sending this to me. I really appreciate that. And you guys, it, this, this product costs $299. And even if I wouldn't have gotten it from Adams for free, because that's what it means by sponsor video, I got it for free, I would have spent the money, no doubt in my mind, after using it. Um, the only letdown at all that I would have of it, and I really don't have a letdown because it works so good, this is plastic up here. I really thought it'd be metal, you know, seeing it in the pictures and stuff. But that is probably my only, in fact, I know it's my only complaint on this dryer. So let me show you guys how well it works. We're gonna go around the car once I get it washed. Um, I gotta remove some bugs on the front and maybe I'll show you guys some of that too uh, using the dryer because I'm making a video for that also. I'm making several videos tonight. Um, but I will try to get you guys in here, show you me doing like the badges, uh, maybe around the headlights, the wheels and stuff like that and show you guys how awesome this thing is. Okay, so let me show you guys what it does when I turn it on. Let me just show you what the hose does and then I'll show you guys drying cars. So as you can see, there's the hose right there. Uh, I don't remember what the collapse length is. I want to say 10 foot. Actually, yeah, probably around 10 foot. Let me just get a measuring tape and I can tell you. So collapse down. Yep, 10 foot. And let me show you what it looks like when you turn it on. It's on maximum. Isn't that about the coolest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> and this thing has 
I don't recommend doing this, but I'm going to show you on my skin. It moved, it moved some serious air, you guys. And here's what it looks like when you turn the power off. It shrinks right back down to the 10 foot hose. All right, we're gonna try this straight nozzle on the bumper, just so I can show you on the grill. Take your nozzle off before you uh, turn it off before you take your nozzle off. <laughs> That's how I found out. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but when I'm washing a car and I don't want water to spot my wheels and stuff, so we're gonna blow dry it, because I haven't even washed it yet. But I just got done cleaning the wheels and tires, so I'm gonna use it to show you guys the blower does. Okay, so that basically dried that whole wheel in about a minute. Not the whole wheel, I'm sorry, the whole tire. Now I'm gonna move on to the wheel. That's gonna be hard to see on this gray wheel, I think. I love I can get it in the barrel. So that's kind of hard to see in those on those wheels. This is kind of disappointing on these wheels. I don't know what GM was thinking or something happened to these wheels at some point, but that's just disappointing that the, the, the gray's coming right off of them. That's the way it was when we got here. But look how nice the tire looks. It's nice and dry. I mean, it's ready for a dressing right now. I'm not gonna put one on dressing on it right, on it right now, but the wheel is completely dry, including around the uh, center cap, which is amazing, because normally water likes to drip out of there. I don't know if I can show you the barrels or not. Nope, I can't, it's too dark. Um, the barrels are, are pretty much, pretty much drier than what's dripping off the rotor, so. So the next few clips, I'm gonna show you drying different parts of the car. So this first part is going to obviously be the glass. And sorry about it, it's kind of uh, foggy in my garage. It's very humid that day. And even though I had the garage door shut and I had the air condition on, on dehumidifier, Indiana is so humid. And when I use my pressure washer, um, it, this is what happens inside the garage. I guess it's the only letdown of washing indoors. But So on this car, the easiest thing to show you was the glass. Um, the glass is actually pretty hydrophobic versus paint. And when water's on it, there's no protection on the glass, as you can see here, there's nothing on it. There's nothing on the paint, nothing on the glass. And so the reason I had it, the car here is my parents' car. I was doing a full paint correction, and I was applying the Adams Graphene ceramic coating to it. And I can tell you on a car that has a coating on it, because I did on my brother's Tesla, you guys know I put the Adams on as well, the new graphene coating on. I blew dry that whole car with the blower, didn't touch it with a towel. Um, and you will see that in an upcoming video, so look forward to that.
this is where I underestimated it. I have towels that I use just for door jams, for drying. No more. I have no reason to even have them now. It blows it out of all the door jams, out of the hinges, out of the, the door catches, everything. Out of the seals, it blows the water right out. There's no reason to even touch the inside of the doors anymore when drying the car. Even run it along the bottom right here and it blows all that water out underneath there. That is the, probably the most exciting part for me right now um, is I can do the door jams with it. You guys know they can be an absolute pain in the butt. You get your fingers back there in certain spots and trying to get rid of water that's there. And look at it, just pushes the water right off that paint. It's going to get it off that latch. It's going to get it out of the plastic at the bottom. I mean, it is just awesome, awesome for the inside door jams. So on this next clip coming up, it's really quick right here, the badge. You know, water gets behind those badges and it just pushes it right out like it wasn't even there. And then you hit it with a drying towel. And then gas tanks, you know, fuel doors. Uh, if you don't open them and you don't dry them, when you go to detail the next day and that polisher vibrates that, water's gonna come out. So I open the fuel door, I, I blow dry the fuel door, and then I blow dry inside like I'm doing right here to dry all the water out of there that I can. So before I had the air cannon, you know, door handles were kind of hard to dry. Water gets back behind there. As you see, it's pushing the water right out. The water would just drip from there. So now I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm trying to get a towel back there and drying it up. This air cannon by Abs Polishes is absolutely awesome. I absolutely love it. It's great for wheels, door handles, badges, all the nooks and crannies around the car that are so annoying the next day when you go to polish and you vibrate the surface and water just starts coming down and gets in your polishing pad. This is awesome. Be awesome for, fit, for uh, motorcycles as well. I know I keep saying awesome, but I really, really like it. Um, this is $2.99 on their website. If I wouldn't have uh, been sent this by Abs Polishes, but someone had told me how great this was, it's a no-brainer to me because it works that good. It blows nice hot air. It dries the water really fast as it's going down the panel. I drive most of the car with this. A lot was a drying towel, but the majority of it I drive with this. No problems at all. This was comfortable the whole time holding it like this. It has plenty of power. It does not lack in that, in that department at all. It has a very small footprint, so when you're not using it, you can either hang it up on the... Uh, rack that they sell or you can get it up out of your way no big deal at all the rollers work great it rolls around with you when as you're pulling it and everything about it i really like you guys i want to say thank you to as polishes for sending this to me i really appreciate that it is just works really good and it makes my job so much easier when i'm doing these details so thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate it if you like the video give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button join the fab family we'd love to have you and we'll see you in the next video